I'd like to take our first ever sketch and add some actual functionality to it so it can do some useful things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it away as something other than this first ever S0 sketch. So I'll save it away as uh, S1. So now I've got this program S1. It's still setting up the serial port and letting us know that it's there. So let's uh, go on and add something in here. I would rather not use the millis function because it doesn't give me a really exact time. I'd like to use the micros function. And we'll use that throughout the course and you should always use that to give you better quality measurement of, of time. So let's make sure that we recognize that that's microseconds since the start instead of milliseconds. So now I can check that and run it and see if it does what it ought to do. It says it's done uploading and there I can see what's coming out and sure enough that looks like it makes sense. It's been about five seconds and that's five million microseconds. So that makes reasonable sense. Next, what would I like to do? I'd like to be able to read a digital input from pin 10 that we're going to attach a button to. So we've got it printing out its how long it's been from the start. Uh, let's print out what it's going to be if we read from pin 10. So we're going to do another serial print. Digital read from pin 10 and see what comes out. So if I run that, I get, oh, I get a one right after hello again. So maybe I want a space in there. And that will give me a space in between the hello again and the one. And I'd like to know what that is, so I'll put a little note afterwards. And I don't want microseconds. I want that's going to be what was on pin 10. And then I'll go and get some other stuff. So let's check and make sure that that works. You'll notice that I'm checking whenever I add something to make sure that it's working. Because if I add too many things, I won't be able to see whether or not they're doing the things I expect them to. I'll get confused. Because I get easily confused. So I'm going to take out that hello again part. And that will give us a little more space on our line. Now I'd like to read something in from analog pin 0, pin A0. So I'll serial print again because I want to see what I got. An analog read from A0. That's the name of the port for the first analog port. And I should put something on there as well to tell me what it is. Oh, not on pin 10, on pin A0. So I can run that now and see what comes out. So I'm building this up step by step, and these numbers make sense. That's an analog value. It'll be between 0 and 1,023, and right now it's somewhere sort of smack in the middle. So what else can I add here? I'd like to make the light blink on and off. So before I get to the end of the loop, I'm going to check and see what's happening on pin 13. If a digital read from pin 13 is equal to 1, so if pin 13, which is attached to the LED, is returning a 5 volt, a true reading, then I would like to digital write, whoops, out to pin 13, 
a value of zero. Uh, so if it's on, I'd like to turn it off. If it's off, so else, if it's off, so if it's not one, then I'd like to digital write a value of one on pin 13. And then it's going to wait 500 milliseconds. Let's make it a thousand milliseconds. So it's one second in between switches. And I hope what this is going to do is if it reads that it's on, it's going to turn it off. Otherwise, it's going to turn it on. So it should be blinking on and off. So let's try running that. So it started to run. It seems to be doing what I told it to do. It's calculating that. It's going through the loop once every second. But the little LED on the board is just staying lit. So something's going wrong with my code here. And one of the things that I have to do is when I've got one of these digital pins, I need to make sure that I've got it set in the right mode so that I can read it or write it. So pin 13, I'd like to be able to read it, but I'd also like to be able to write it. So I have to set its pin mode to output. So pin mode, pin 13, as output. And I'm doing that up here in the setup because I only want to do that once. This is stuff that happens every time it goes through the loop. This is stuff that only happens once when I start the program. So now let's try running that. Oh, and I got an error. What, what, it's still spitting stuff out, but it says output was not declared in this scope. Well, oh, I mistyped there. That should have been output. That's the reserve word that's used for a zero going out uh, or an output value going on the on the pin. So let's try it again. So just because stuff shows up over here in this window doesn't mean that the program actually got loaded and and is running. It may may have generated an error down here. So it seems to be running. And if I look over at the little pin 13 diode, it's blinking on and off. So if you try this in your Arduino uh, IDE with your code, you should be able to see that little LED blinking on and off now. So we've succeeded in reading a digital value, reading an analog input value, and based on what's going on with one of the digital values, changing a digital output value allowing us to switch something on and off. So that's a big accomplishment at this point. We'll move on and add some more functionality to this sketch and tidy things up a little bit in the next video.